Good day, everyone. Before we start, we have a disclosure. Please be aware the risk in the future trading. Continuing from yesterday, uh, covering uh, when is the best time to cover Globex overnight. And uh, usually, uh, my favorite time is around 3 o'clock a.m. Eastern time. This is, there is a timer on the auto trade where you can adjust what time you wanted the auto trade to start plus there is a filter when there is a news and then a stop trading and you can decide if you wanted to trade 10 minutes and have the auto trade stop 10 minutes before or half an hour before and then start again uh, an hour or five minutes after the news so there's already is in the system uh, an optional where what time you wanted to start and what is your target one of the things in the auto trade that letting the auto trade run in day and night is not really uh, good because it always probably ends up in the red the best way to set the target and once we set the target the minimum target 500 and whatever we can get out of over the 500 is very fine if this market is trending or it will close at 500 if uh, we hit the 500. As an example, on the Globex, especially for uh, folks are out of the U.S. country and uh, like Australia, Philippines, uh, uh, Korea, or uh, uh, European time, at 3 o'clock Eastern time, uh, it is really a good time to start your Globex middle of the night. Uh, uh, right now, uh, before we the markets open, I just want to show you, we still have a lot of trades has not closed. Uh, we have a NASDAQ, we have a DAX, we have a NASDAQ 1100, DAX uh, 434, and then YM 235, uh, another YM, and uh, then here we have just an entry on the CL and then ES. So, usually around 3 o'clock in the morning, you there is a very good nice trend, especially the CL for guys have money or the YM for the ones have less money. So all those auto trade, if we notice, uh, they started all after three o'clock uh, in the morning. Uh, let me take uh, the ES, which is most a traded instrument. We started at three o'clock and then uh, at 3.52, we took a trade, long, a small one, and then we hit one more trade to the downside, and it was 8.50. So this is a very good uh, to do that. Also, uh, Friday is a sometimes a little bit, uh, um, you know, mixed market usually when the market is open, especially Friday. If, if uh, somebody can run those time in around 3 o'clock Eastern morning, and then, um, then probably uh, the probability of catching a trend, uh, it is very high. I cannot say every time, but it is very high. You will be uh, catching a trend. A uh, little bit conservative on the CL. If we catch a trend, we catch a trend. If we don't, but normally the CL, a uh, lot of the traders, they know that. They prefer to trade the CL with the European time. For some reason, the CL is always a smoother during this time and a, a really trend. As an example here, we started the 3 uh, Eastern time, 3 a.m. Eastern time, and the first trade was around 3.20, and it took one trade and get it over with, and this is nice. A lot of communication between the traders about keep continued trading and that it is I mean if you you can right click and and uh, reload the chart and reactivate the auto trade but the idea is if you hit your target why you need to mess with it as an example today is Friday 23rd March is 7 32 a.m. I'm not sure today on a Friday the CL is gonna be doing well could the uh, fly and get you 200 ticks and it could go sideways so if we have a profit in the market uh, i don't know why we have to go back and you know play with fire 
and now we cannot call it off. And this is a very fine line between gambling and trading because the idea, uh, especially if you are automated trading and unaware of the market's movement, is like you're sitting on a blackjack a table and at the end of the day, you might lose money. So when we see a profit, we need to uh, call it off for today, uh, irrelevant. As an example, uh, we have some DAX, which my favorite, my favorite time frame is one minute. Uh, here is the DAX, uh, the DAX for one minute. It took a trade around 3.45, very, very fair. Took one trade, targets are uh, uh, 500 and already hit the target 511, very fine. If we look at the 150, took a couple of trades and now 3414. Okay, that's fair enough. But if we are on that one here and we nailed 500, I mean, Today, the 150 ticks made 3,000. That's very fine. But it could be tomorrow, the one minute is going to make 3,000, and then the, the tick is going to make 500. Who knows what will happen on Monday? So as long as there is a consistency, especially like for me, uh, I know if I use the 288 DAX or uh, the, the 244 ticks, it could bring more money. But I know on the one minute is a very consistent and sometimes you can see you get 500, and if the market is trending, you might wind up with much more than that. But that's what we get for today on the on the DAX. Then it is okay. One trade is over. The whole idea is uh, not to take too many trades in the market. The more you trade, the more you are exposing yourself to risk. So if we can get it over with with a one trade or two trade or three trades a day max whatever we can get out of it this is much healthier to sit down and test your luck uh in the and the u.s session once the market opens so what i'm trying to say is if you set your auto trade at three o'clock eastern time if this market is trending, we're going to nail it without a question. If this market is not moving, you're not going to get any money. Absolutely. Where do you want me to give you the, uh, the ticks from if this market is not moving? So at 3 o'clock in the morning, if you start your auto trade, the probability, again, the probability on the CL or on the ES, they're going to trend, or the YM. Even the NASDAQ, if we look at the NASDAQ right now, we have a NASDAQ on three minutes have $1,300, has not a closed position. We have the first trade around 4 o'clock, took a small trade here, lost, made a, a very nice trade, a small trade, and now from uh, from early morning, from 6.30 uh, morning until now, and we're still climbing on that uh, trade. And the same story, if we look at the ES, the three minutes, the first trade was around 5.02, fair enough, and then uh, we took another trade around 7 o'clock. Fair enough. This is, should be done for today. So if we look at the NASDAQ doing between 3 o'clock and 7 o'clock right now, I mean, the NASDAQ is a cheap instrument. It's not as expensive as the DAX. Everybody can afford one contract on the DAX. If we look at the, uh, at the NASDAQ, the three minutes, the one minute, which is very important. I like the, the minutes chart because the minutes charts can really give you the true trend. So now if we look at the uh, the one minute NASDAQ, we have the first trade around 3.34 and then we were done with that around 4.58 and nailed, you know, 1,085. Let's say the 85 for your broker, tip, commission, whatever, slippage. Then you can walk away with a one, I mean, one grand with this Nasdaq doing those clawbacks. So we cannot underestimate those hours between three o'clock and eight o'clock in the morning. Usually there is a lot of uh, uh, good trend to catch. If we look at the uh, 244, took only one trade and makes 605. That's fine, that's fair enough. It's only one trade and nail the target. So the idea is when we have those uh, auto trades on, on a $500 target, if this market is trending, 
you can go on 1,000 or could go 1,500. And if this market is sideways, you're not going to get anything out of it. Don't get me wrong. But it is nice and easy staying out of the trouble. One trade, today the 244 took one trade and nailed 600. Fair enough. Today the, the one minute took 1,000. Fair enough. Could be on Monday is, is vi uh, the other way. Could be the, uh, the NASDAQ doing those clawbacks. Uh, probably the 244 ticks is going to make 1,000 or it's not going to make money. How would I know? And probably the one minute is going to make the 600. So it does not matter the number as much as more important is to say I hit the target and I stop. Continuing trading is not healthy in the future trading and that you are exposing your account a lot. As an example, on 288 ticks, we took the first trade at 320 and we got out at 411, 550, very nice and easy. And with uh, the 150 ticks, we have a one losing trade actually. And then we, we took the second trade at 422 and we were exiting at 5. Uh, five o'clock, almost five o'clock in, in the morning, and this is really pleasant. Um, the same story on the ES doesn't matter. This is a really basic uh, uh, time frames. Uh, the one minute uh, took one trade, no, two trades, and this is really actually there is three. Wow! So let's look at it. See what's going on with this one here. The first trade was at 321. We lost the first trade. Okay, fair enough. The second one almost broke even. Fair enough. The, sec the third one it took a short at 37. Exit at 34. This is a very nice trade. And then we took one trade from 32.25 all the way to the 26.27. This is a very nice trade. And it was done and over. Uh, 562. You walked away with 550. This is not bad at all, you know. So it's done and it's over. Uh, so why I need to trade when the market is open? There is no reason to trade anymore when the market is open, not unless if you are willing to take your chances and probably you will make 1,000 or probably you're going to give up all your profit, what you have earned in the morning. This is the main problem with the auto traders that they don't, protect what they earn. If you started a run uh, at 3 o'clock in the morning, you nailed whatever you can get out of that market, uh, whether it's 500 or 3,000 or 2,000 or 1,000. If you're going to reload those charts when the market's open today, nobody knows because those questions that were asked uh, yesterday by one of our customers, he said, can you tell me if... Uh, uh, the NASDAQ is going to make it next week. I don't know. I don't have a crystal ball if the NASDAQ is going to lose two days or one day. I don't have a crystal ball. I wish I know that. So, uh, so as we speak right now, I don't know if uh, today uh, on a Friday, and we had a beautiful run to yesterday, all the auto trades hit targets yesterday. Um, I'm not sure today is going to be very nice and smooth trading after those profit taken it is going to bring some volatility in the market so if we nailed 500 or 800 on the ym on the one minute we nailed 800 uh, should i risk it and give it up especially on friday and go ahead and ruin my weekend over it no i should not so uh, this is the way we have to think about uh, management if we look at the CL one minute, I concentrate on the one minute, folks, because if your auto trade does not work on the one minute, it is just mean piece of garbage. Uh, uh, if we look at uh, the short, uh, at the short at the uh, CL on the one minute, we took it at 321, and then we exit at 555, and nailed uh, 660. The way the CL is working, I will run with it and I will not reactivate the auto trade uh, uh, on the CL uh, in the afternoon or in the, uh, in the US session. Uh, so on the three minutes, nailed exactly to the take on the profit, which is 500. That's very fair. 
uh, on the YM 288 ticks, we took one trade, and this is very important. It doesn't not matter what is uh, the amount, is what time we took those trades. And you can see all those auto trades that were taken after 3 o'clock in the morning, and most of them that were done uh, around 6, 7 o'clock, or 4 o'clock, or 5 o'clock. If we notice on the YM, we took a trade at 3.19, we exit and done over around 4.14. This is not bad. That should make any small trader happy. Uh, on the YM 244 ticks, we took actually more than one trade. We had uh, one losing trade, fair enough, and then we have one nice uh, trade, and then followed by one more trade. That made one uh, 1,000. This is very good. At the moment, from 3 o'clock until now, we still have... Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven instruments. On the six instruments, if you notice, they're all into the green. Uh, 1,275, you're looking at it, the NASDAQ. And we have the 225, you're looking at it, it's the ES. And then another one, 200, and then 135, 135, and an 80. So this is a very good uh, way to, to auto trade at night. Or for those guys, they are out of uh, the country, uh, South America or Europe or, you know, Australia. This is a very good timing, so you should not be sitting till middle of the night trying to trade with the U.S. session. I think it is a very good solution to or to start your other trade uh, at uh, three o'clock Eastern time. Morning is Eastern time. To so look what we have in here on the, the other system. We had an entry earlier to uh, the morning. Uh, the, the, the entry was 26.31.50. The target was 26.40, and is already 19 ticks in that trade. Uh, the YM, we have an entry by entry earlier, and we're still on the, those trades. It's 20, uh, 23.801. Uh, and the target is 23.914. is already up 66 ticks. The NASDAQ buy entry was 66.35, and the target is 66.63, which bring 74 ticks to this one. Uh, the CL, we had a sell entry at 65.03. The target is 64.44. This is a brilliant uh, 54 ticks. And then you have the Treasury bond, 44.30, and the target is uh, 44.18. By looking at the bond to the sell position, it seems like, and the, the ES is going to the long position, seems like we are going to open to the long side. Uh, Russell, we have a, an entry at uh, uh, 1536, and then uh, the target was uh, 1543. We just hit the target on the 6E, and if you look at the 6E, it was nothing, it was 15, 16 takes. And uh, this is really nice. Let me look at the chart. We can look at the euro dollar. And you can see barely touched the. This is really nice. It barely touched the target. And now it's going back again. Here is your entry. It was right there. We broke the first level, second level, the final. And barely touch it, and look at this. It is really nice and accurate. So uh, that's all. And uh, let's see in general what we have in the Forex. It's right there. We are using the Forex based on 10,000. It's a mini account. So those here on the future market, on the less signals we have, because usually the, mar the signals start changing around, uh, around 6 o'clock in the morning uh, Eastern time. So right now, based on the last signals, we have around 253 ticks on based on the last signals on the on the price action uh, entry. Uh, folks, uh, please be careful. It's a Friday. Uh, could be a little volatility today after a huge run yesterday. Uh, it was beautiful yesterday. Uh, all the charts, all everything was hidden and overheaded uh, targets. It was really beautiful day because the market is moving. Once the market is moving, everything starts uh, shining. 
So we hope today we will have a little direction and, uh, and I'll, I'll try my best to go live uh, in an hour or so and uh, try to highlight what's going on in the market today and then we can follow uh, the signal entry to share it with some other traders. Yesterday we shared our signals and uh, I received some emails. Uh, there is some guys follow those signals and uh, they were really, really happy with it. Uh, yesterday, uh, when we were doing this uh, live, uh, some of the traders uh, took the ES and the YM and the NASDAQ, uh, follow the signals and uh, they send a thank you letter, uh, thank you back. And uh, again, when we are going live, it is on your own risk. Please do not hold me responsible for it. We're not getting paid for it or anything. We're just trying to help traders to get a second opinion. You're very welcome to it, but please, we are not responsible for your trade and we are not even uh, uh, trying to promote anything when we are going live. We are strictly trying to analyze what's going on in the market. Folks, that's all what we have, and uh, we will be, I'll try to go live within a couple hours, uh, helping whoever needed help. God bless you.